Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Hey, everybody. Uh, so I, uh, uh, a couple of things I wanted to come back and kind of try. Uh, I was just kind of thinking the other day, or this, yeah, yesterday, about the first attempt I had with Unbearable Revenge and my uh, not successful um, porting of my player model. So we were running into an issue. I was sending the signal to the server of my player character's position. I aggroed the bears for Unbearable Revenge, and it worked. But every once in a while, like seemingly randomly, the bears would target my camera position and would come after me. And so I was thinking yesterday, you know, I bet I know why. And I bet it's because I'm stupid. Oh, wow, I just noticed you can actually, if you have the render distance high enough, you can actually see the, what's it's all the way over there, the uh, circle with the chestnut. Uh, anyway, so, um, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, I bet the reason uh, is because I'm dumb. Oh, what is that? I just had a health update. Something is at 2,000. What's that? Is there another player in the game right now? Is that what it is? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I accidentally hit a bear with my static link or something. Uh, anyway, where, where was I? Uh, right. So uh, I bet the reason that it didn't work is because I dumb. And, oh. Yeah, it's another player. Their health is regening. Well, I don't want to mess up somebody else's work, so maybe I won't do this just yet, but... Um, right, so... <clears throat> keep losing my spot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so I was attempting that while the camera was in first-person view. And then it occurred to me that I bet that when you're in first-person view, camera position and player position are probably supposed to be in sync, and it probably checks every once in a while to make sure that they are in sync. Whereas that may not be an issue when the camera is in third person. So, let's go over there to the old fire circle. Let's uh, start our proxy uh, command to uh, inject our camera, our, sorry, our player position. Aggro some bears and see if they can get to us or if they ever retarget us, rather, um, when we're doing the thing. So... First, I'm going to hop into third person so I don't forget. And then I'm going to come down here just to make sure I'm in the unbearable wood zone to avoid any issues. Come down here to our proxy and type in our command. And now we're sending that location. Bear doesn't see me. That bear doesn't see me. Just maybe create another character so that I can just do the quest again to test it out. Probably because now it occurs to me that I'm not going to be able to aggro bear like this. Cannot do. Cannot do. Yeah, I'm going to need to. I'm going to need to start a new character so that I can redo the quest. Oh, there's a bear coming for me. Coming for somebody. Now it just kind of looks like it's wandering. Oh, I got hit. Something hit me. So I guess no, this is not. Same issue, I'm guessing. There's two... Seem to be going. So, if there's an egg or not, definitely being in the circle seems to upset them. Can't tell if the bears are going for. Oh, it's reared up. Yeah, it hit me. Okay, never mind. That was my previous position. Although, to be honest with you, they seem to be having a much harder time pathing to me. Oh, that was a swipe. There was another hit right there. Okay, so no. 
you know, this is not uh, not the issue. Is not the uh, the camera. Bears are going crazy, but they are occasionally finding my correct position. My concern there is, of course, then that. Um, Well, this one's coming right at me. Not hitting me, though. See that? It took a swipe at me. It didn't hit me. I'm having a lot more success like this. That's for sure. Okay, that was a hit. That's another hit. Yeah, it got me. Okay. That was that was more successful than the last time I tried, uh, but uh, still, still got me. I bet if I were moving, like I wasn't just holding still, I probably could have made the timer because... Um, Uh, because, uh, uh, they wouldn't have been able to path to my position that quickly. I would have been constantly moving around and they would have been trying to chase after me. Uh, okay, well, that was still worth a try. But now I have another idea. Now that I have found the protocol for health, I'm going to try to do the infinite health angle. I want to see if I can get that working. Uh, so let's, in the proxy here. Or I'll just kill it, I guess. Go ahead. No, I, I, I don't know. Whatever, I'll just kill it. All right, and then let's. Oh, uh, you know what though? I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need to get back in there now that I think of it, because I want to make sure that I got Wireshark running, and that I truly do record that protocol but let's first let's get back in here in our in our proxy script and let's reduce some of this noise uh because i don't okay so i want to i want to keep the health packets and i want to make sure it's printing data in origin yep and that's fine what all i want to do right now is i just want to record this. that's it so so i can play around with it uh, what else did I have? Oh, yes, we definitely want to turn off the shoot because we, oops, we definitely don't need that right now. And what else did I have? That was it. That was it. I think I might turn, no, I'm not going to leave the init on because that's just going to be extra nice. Right, save that. And let's run that proxy script again. Let's log in again. I wonder if I should do test man or it's fine. Oh, here comes oh these they're angry bears. Let's kill this one. Oh, yeah, I forgot to start, uh, uh, hold on, let me get down here. I forgot to start, ooh, ooh. there we go. Hey, who's that? Zach! Hey, Zach, how you doing? Um, all right, I want to start Wireshark. I know Zach has been, this is still the first week in class, and Zach is working on Unbearable Revenge, um, and it seems to be causing him. About as much trouble as it caused me when I did it. I want to run Wireshark as well as the proxy um, because Wireshark helps me to capture the data stream as it is. The proxy is helping me catch the translation of it uh, and the parsed version of it, which is useful to me. Okay, so to wait for it to come up here all right ethernet and we're going to do let's see what do we want to do we want to do ip uh yep there we go that's one i had from before i believe and we also want to do an or right so we also want to catch them from the other direction so let's copy this that and this will be the nation okay. 
course. And source. Apply and run it. Okay. Hop over here and let's go get damaged and then regenerate. There. There's. Okay, there's the damage. And zoom away and I, all I want to do is record what happens as I regenerate. And then I am basically going to try to loop regener the regenerating uh, thing, uh, the regenerating protocol over and over and over again. And hopefully that will equate to infinite health. That's my hope. And or I can get disconnected, but whatever, that's fine. We should have got it. What? My syntax wrong? Did my IP change? Shouldn't have. No. It's the same, so it's my syntax. IP source equals and station or I don't see why this wouldn't work. Oh, I know. That's not how logic works. Oops. Uh, okay. Oh, that's because this is missing the eye now. There we go. Two clauses. They need to be together. How that works. All right, let's do it again. In there. Oh. Come on. Should be fine. I was able to log in. What the hell? I wonder if it's because I um I probably should open up my the ports that I have because I'm connecting only on uh, three thousand nine, and now that there are other players in there, this could cause a problem. So I should probably. Yep, let's, I'm going to pause this, I'm going to open this up to, uh, like, 3,000 to 3,025, um, and go with that, just give me a sec. Okay, uh, just for the record, what I did is I just went, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> went into the proxy script, and I changed my former game server uh, code here. To just have a range of ports. Now I've got 3000 through 3012, and you can see right here in the proxy script that when I now join, it's got 333 for the one server, and then game servers open up 12 ports there. You just give myself a little bit more room. I'm probably going to have to re log in now, though. Yep, main server connection. So, re log in. And there we go. Okay. Now, something is still wrong with this. Why aren't I getting nothing? I'm sure they at least got something. Yeah, I'm, I, what the? F this is very simple. Oh, filter. There we go. It helps if you're not stupid, but you know, not everyone can have everything. All right, let's find us a rat or a bear to take a bite out of us, and then we can, um, you know, uh, heal it back up. And then once we have that packet, uh, try the thing I just talked about, where basically I'm going to loop that just as I was trying to loop the camera position. And even if for some reason we run into an issue where there's a rat, even if for some reason we run into an issue, ow, even if for some reason we run into an issue where the commands aren't processing you know, some of them are getting dropped or bottlenecked or something. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. I mean, if we're constantly regenerating, 
Plus, uh, I know that the health packets also contain an amount, so we could also have it, you know, heal a third amount. Okay, there we go. I'm not seeing the health packets, though. Let's stop this here. I see the 6D76. Those are our position packets. I don't see the health. Where's the health? There we go. Those are the health. Uh, hex 64 is 100, and so here we have 99, 98, and so on. Okay. Let's go to here. And the data, and copy, and hex stream. Let's go back here to our parser scripts. Now, of course, our actor uh, is gonna. Our actor number is gonna change every time we we are instantiated. So we'd have to update that, but um, it's not like it's not doable. All right, let's go down here into the thing here and let's comment out that. And that don't need the timer started anymore. No, actually, let's leave that away on, on just just for feedback in case something goes wrong. Um, okay, and I am gonna change. Uh, actually, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? Whatever. I'll just leave it as unbearable. This is just a proof of concept, anyway. And I think that we can reload. Or. Oh, it's still sending the old one. Let's start that again. It's still sending, that was sending the camera update. Now let's do that. I'm going to type in the command unbearable because I've just changed that function, by the way, just so, you know, I don't want you to think this has anything to do with unbearable revenge. This is just, oh, that's so wrong. Oh, because now I've changed it to, okay. Uh, I have to change this uh, now. Yep. I gotta change this now because now I've uh, got I, I had it before. I only had one game server before. If game server running. So I gotta change that. Give me a sec. Okay, just had to update that code to handle the fact that I got multiple. I had to change the proxy script up here for multiple ports. It means I needed to change that for multiple ports, and I saved that up, and now we are ready to try again. Again. Third. Oh, hold on. I got an error in the thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, my, my fault. What? Still? Hold on, what do I do? Oh. There we go. Python. Python and them indentations, you know? What are you going to do? Except, you know, indent correctly. That's what you do. Okay. This okay, uh, it couldn't. Oh, I got the print in the wrong place, but at least it's running. Let's go get injured, and see what happens. I also forgot to check and see if that was a client or a server update. 
and there's a client update so i also am doing that backwards what's this though weird hmm? i don't know but let's fix that because that was dumb you can you can stop now all right you can stop or i'll stop you all right that's fine uh yeah i don't want this in my loop that's dumb i want this out of the loop Oh, actually, you know what I want to do? I just commented out too much of my old code, that's all. Because uh, this could still be there. Got I got comment happy. I just want to move this up. Week. Those can I get those indents right. Okay. And I'm also gonna put in a break here. Because I want it to stop. And stop. I think I also want to reduce this. Now that I'm not doing this for unbearable revenge. So let's do this for two minutes just as a test. And uh, this needs to change, right? Should go to client queue, not server queue. And I don't think this is going to work. I mean, I think it's going to update the client, but the server, if there's any server side validation, it's still going to think it's coming. It's still, yeah, it's still not going to do it. So I just realized that this is probably really stupid. This is probably not going to work. Well, I've done stupid before. Let's do it again. Sometimes stupid is the, I mean, the, the not so stupid. Right? So it's not always stupid. Or what's that uh, stupid, uh, not stupid if it works. That's what I'm thinking of. Okay, all right. Now, let's go down and let's type in our command, but I'm not going to run it yet because I want to get a little closer to the bad guys. Rat, where are rats? Come to me, rats. In search of rat, must like biting. There's some rats. All right. Oops. Let's run. And let's go get Bia. Uh, rat? Are you not interested in biting me? Have I done something to pre... I can't even... Okay. Okay. What? Hmm. 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 Okay. Got. Why is it getting queued up by the? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Got queue client. Got queue server. Why did that happen? It shouldn't be queuing it up in the server. Did I do something really stupid? I mean, do I even need to come? What the? What, what, what did I do? Oh, I did something with mouse pad. There we go. Uh, no, client queue. 
Okay, hold on. I oh. Okay, okay. Here we go. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do it again. Do it again and again until we get it. We're going to do this. This is a thing. Alright. Fight me, rat. Fight me, rat. Uh, oh, it died. I didn't do that. It damaged me, but it died. What? Fight me, rat. Well, first of all, they're completely ignoring me. Rats. Rats. Why are you ignoring me? Don't ignore me. Okay, I'm gonna go what's up with the bears then. What is going on? This is not doing what I thought it would do at all. I'm in the woods. I'm in the freaking bear woods. Oh, I'm losing health somehow. Oh, I'm what what is hitting me? I bro something's broken. Something got real broke here. Uh, was that the rat that I was just um, like? Am I just lagging behind? Is that the rat? No, I don't. What? What? What is it? What is it? Something is hitting me, and I don't know what it is. Timer done. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, that's a new error. Uh, oh my, that's that's a new one. Okay. Um. All right then. Wonder, did we did we overflow our own health because we just kept adding a hundred to it and a hundred to it and a hundred to it? Oh, I got it. I got an idea. Let's test on a smaller scale before we go crazy trying to automate this. Let's see if we understand how it works because I'm starting to think maybe I don't understand how it works. Okay, let's get in the sucker. First of all, I'm gonna get away from the unbearable woods so I don't mess up, uh... Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> that is so loud! It's even loud when you're not the one firing it. I was just about to say, I'm gonna get away from Zach because I don't want to mess him up while he's doing unbearable I can still hear it like it's right in my ear! Oh my god! Oh, oh, I need to zone out of here. Ah, it's still like right in my ear. I'm gonna go. Out, I'm gonna go to the cow bungalow or, or or something. Good god! Apologize, uh, I, I apologize for the profanity. In my defense, that was really loud. Okay, I'm gonna go over here off the coast. 
Stand on the water. I got bears for testing if need be. All right, I'm good. Now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm at 100 health. I am going to uh, take the string sending. And I'm going to send it manually using our client queue process, right? So client and then paste that. But 064, oops, that's not at all what I want to do. Oh, so, okay. So 64 is 100. Let's go 63 is 99. 62 is 98. So two. And then now I've forgotten how many zeros that was. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten zeros. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If I do this and my health declines and then regenerates, then that tells me something. Oh, I gotta fix that up now too. I gotta, I gotta put this in all of them. I gotta do a four server. Yeah, yeah, get out of here. Server is running, not game server. Okay. Okay. No. Footer. Footer. Okay. Oh, right, because I did that. Let's not do that. Go back up here and do this instead. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm just going to change it. And then let's do 60. Yes. Mm, that didn't work. Let's give it a couple seconds, though. If it didn't update, just because it didn't update the value there, doesn't necessarily mean that the client doesn't think something happened. So I'm going to wait just a couple minutes to see if we get... Uh, our health tick to see if the regeneration comes back. The reason I'm doing that is because if... Oh, is that the spider I hit? Oh, wow. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because I'm just trying to figure out how health... Because the health has given me so much trouble. It appears that there's server-side validation. By playing offline, it was clear that it was not server-side validation. It's something internal to the client somehow. I just don't know how health is being calculated. I don't know how it's being used or how it's being looked at. And I am just very confused. And I look around in Cheat Engine 2. I know what's writing to those addresses, but it doesn't seem to make any sense. All right. It's been enough time. The tick should have fired off, and it didn't. So, okay. Let's start up Cheat Engine then. And I'm going to take a closer look at the assembly instructions for health uh, and see if I can figure out how that's, that's working. But this is... Hold on a second. Uh, admin this. Um, this message 
that we intercepted was coming from the server to the client. So the server is, oh, birthday, dark bite day. Um, Ah, uh, right, so this was coming from the server. So the server is somehow involved in the online version. No, we don't need that. The decrease value, let's go take some damage. You there, bear. Oh, that's an angry bear. That's not even a bear. Uh, uh, um... Okay. Wait for the regen, and then we do our increased scan. There it goes. And then we're going to do an ex. Oh, these all seem to be associated with. We're going to do. So these are all taken up. So these are all associated with our health. All right, let's see what is happening then. Yes, attach a debugger. All right, so we have two values here that are constantly being updated, and they're in sync. One of them is the player tick. One of them is the player should receive position updates. They're both accessing this memory address that has to do with health. What's this? Get health. That's being accessed frickin' constantly. Holy crap. Oh, got some... Oh, got some lag here. Um, some real choppiness. All right. Well, I've previously tried just nopping the get health. And that ain't do it. So uh, we don't want to do that. That's not going to work. The get health is using a move command, EAX, which is 64. Again, that's 100. To ECX 30. ECX is here, uh, plus 30. So that's our player position. That's where our health is going to be. No disassembly. Okay. okay. A couple of things that we could do that we haven't tried yet. Uh, right now, we're moving uh, the value of EAX. The EAX is the last time it was called was 64, which is 100. But of course, we know that it ticks up to 100 from whatever. So there's a, we could change this. We could change the assembly instruction. Instead of moving whatever's in EAX, we move a fixed value into that memory address. That would be good. Um, and then that way we don't have to break anything else. And essentially that means that every player tick after regen begins, we basically regenerate 100% immediately. Let's try that. Huh? So what we need to do is we need to put a fixed value in here. You notice that we can, uh, we can edit this address, right? We can replace with code that does nothing, but we can also edit it. Type your assembly code here and we can change this to anything, right? It doesn't have to be a knob. We could change it to a move. We could change it to an int of return or whatever. So let's change that to a raw value. Just one second. Let me see if I can handle this, uh, see what's causing this lag in the game though. You can see how choppy this is. I'm not gonna be able to do anything. Let me, let me kill some stuff here and I'll get back. Hey, you know what I just saw while I was looking uh, at killing some processes for the game's sake? Um, I was looking at the assembly and I was like, oh, you know what? We are in the actor space because I noticed there was a, uh, you know, get actor stuff and all this. And I noticed there's a actor can be damaged in here. And it's just a Zor, right? 
Um, sorry, um, I had to get a drink there. I was about to start coughing all over my microphone. Okay, anyway. So, um, we can give ourselves infinite health, I think, if we either break this or change this, right? We don't need infinite health if it can't be damaged. Let's, you know, let's, let's knob it and see what happens. I guess let, oh, for Christ's sake, I'm still using my revolver. Yeah, uh, the choppiness, I'm guessing, is probably coming from Cheat Engine. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if it works, though. Well, let's first see if we can damage the angry bears. Yeah, we can damage them. They can damage us. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Can they ever damage us? I guess instead of knopping that, maybe I should have changed that to a... Because it was a Zor. Maybe we could have changed that to a negative condition. Replace that and try that. Azor A L A L. Oops, that's not what I want to do. All right. So if it's a Zor and it's comparing AL and AL, then if I'm remembering my logic gates correctly, and I may not be, uh, Azores will return a bool 1 only if the bits are different, right? And in this case, it's being compared to something that is the same. AL should equal AL. So then the actual result of this right now is zero. So we want it to be different. Right? Am I am I at all correct here? Uh so let's change this to Oh what what could it be? Um Let me see. Um, all right. AL is the location. AL is the least significant location in EAX. So we can't compare that to EAX. Let's. Four, five, six. Random number. Will you allow me to do that? Yes, they are. Okay. Uh, okay. So that those should not be equal, or should? Yeah, that should not ever be equal. Let's see if we can be damaged now. Where's them spooters when you need them? Woo. Okay. Spooter. Oh, that can be damaged. Well, I'm being damaged, all right. Okay. Then what does this do if it doesn't do what I think it does? Hmm. Okay. I can also just try or is this location no longer because i died is this location no longer associated with my current no looks like it is still being called i 
change this instead of trying to change that to a digit? What if I just change the operator? Absorb or or flip the logic around there. Definitely still getting hurt. Okay. It's just strange. Nothing is working the way that I think it should. Hold on, I'm going to wait for the regen. Because I think we had a couple of uh, areas here that were added after the regen occurred. Yeah, it's this one. Same as we had with the uh, mana. It looks like it's using the same tick. Or the same function for regen. Just don't understand exactly what this is in terms of anything really. What is writing to this address? Let's get an ouchie. Let's see what's writing. Oh, now it's running just fine. That's weird. Spider. Tell me what you're made of. Ow. <sighs> Wait for the regen to see what is writing to that. The same thing that was writing to it. Okay, yeah, it's this thing again. I hate how cheat engine when you have the view open. Really hard to get back. That's wire shark. That's... What? Where'd it go? Show the disassembler. Show the disass... Oh, it's over here. Annoying. All right. Uh, uh, okay, this is that weird function. I wonder what would happen if I changed this. Or what the hell? Go nuts with it. See what breaks. You don't, huh? I don't understand what I mean either. I don't blame you, dude. Hmm. Yeah, because, no, wait, what am I doing? I don't want to add to the memory location. That would be ridiculous. Uh, I need to find where that's coming from. Or, or, or either that or... I don't want to break it. I need to figure out what is loading into that. But instead of that, I do... I change this to an add, that location. Good. Yes. Uh, doesn't seem to be doing anything for my mana, and I know that it uses the same sort of function or the same function period. It seems to be used for regenerating anything. Oh, that definitely didn't work, eh? How much did I just try to feed it? What's 100 in hex? 
text vert zero zero or yeah. That is a hex converter, but that is way more than I need right now. Hex value one, two, three, four, five, one, zero, zero. Six. I probably could have guessed that because the one is in the third position. Wow. My math good. Hmm. Well, I'm going to think about this some more. I'm already at about an hour and I haven't really accomplished anything, but that's a couple more ideas that I had that don't seem to be working. But I'm still curious and I am going to... I keep working on this. I keep trying to figure this out. <laughs> 